Easy? Have I said it's easy? Yep. The first on my list is D&D Beyond Importer. This one is super useful because my players all make their characters on D&D Beyond, and with this I can just easily import all of it in. I pay for one of the higher tiers so that I can share all my modules with the players, and I've purchased almost all of them. So we build our characters on that so that they can use all of the resources. With D&D Beyond Importer, you just get this cool little button right here. And once you get your settings all set up, you just then hit start import, and every time they level up, you'll just import their new character. It is extremely easy to use and runs really quickly. The only disadvantage with it is it is behind a paywall. It's Mr. Prime Eight, I believe. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. If you want this, I highly recommend it, but I think it's $5 a month in order to be able to use it. There was another D&D Beyond importer. Uh, I think it was VTTA Assets that I also use pretty often, but it's no longer supported and it's kind of getting shut down. I still use it because it still works, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because I don't know how long it's going to work. And that brings me to the next mod that I highly recommend, which is at Dfred's Convenient Effects. So now instead of adding effects onto the characters, I now have this. And if he starts his Blade Song, I can look it up and I can just select it, add his Blade Song to him. Uh, there's all kinds of other effects. If they get exhausted, and I've added custom levels of exhaustion because our exhaustion operates a little bit different, but it's even easier if you use just the custom rules for exhaustion and all the other effects like haste, anything like that. Very easy to use, you install it, you select the token that you wanna add the effect to, and then you just click on the effect, wham, bam, that's all there is to it. Moving on to mods that I just don't know if I could live without. We're talking about the GM screen. So this mod, as well as the rest of the mods on this list, will be as free as hitting the like button. So keep that in mind. The only paid one is the very first mod that I mentioned. There's nothing too fancy about this one. It's easy to use, it does the job, and just your Dungeon Master screen is a very useful tool and this just helps do that digitally, so really appreciate this one. Next up, you'll notice a lot of my favorite mods are about keeping my life easy. So the Compendium browser just makes things really easy. You can browse spells, feats, items, or monsters. I never really look up feats because they add that on D&D Beyond, but it's there. Moving right along to the next one, we're talking about pings. Actually, it's with an exclamation point. We're talking about pings. Not a whole lot here. You can shift and hold your click and it drags people's cameras around or you just hold click and it pings. Super basic, but super useful because when I'm trying to point out where something is on a map or if my players are trying to point out which monster they're wanting to hit, it just makes everything easy. Have I said it's easy? Yep. The next, I'm just gonna lump all of these together and not go into too much detail on them because you probably already know what I'm about to say, but we've got better rolls for 5e, dice tray, and dice so nice. Dice tray down here, wham bam, roll it. Yeah, you know what they do. So we're just gonna move on to the next one, which is the levels mod slash the wall height mod. This lets you take a multi-level building like this one and stack it on top of each other, which just makes things flow so much easier. If you want more details on it, I've done an entire video and we'll move on to the next one. Universal Battle Map Importer. You've got the button at the bottom of your scenes page and if you make something on Dungeon Fog or Dungeon Draft, really easy to pull it in here. It already has the walls and the lighting and everything you want already set up. Uh, not too long ago, in the middle of a session, my players did something I didn't completely expect. So while they talked and planned things out, I took like five minutes, built a map in Dungeon Draft, imported in here, ran really smooth, and I just love this mod. I also really don't like the tedious part of adding all the walls in there. So I love it. I know there are other mods that let you kind of build maps in Foundry. They're not on this list, honestly, because I just haven't really tried them out very much and I like the system that I currently use, but I may look into those in a little bit. So the last mod for me to call out is Tokenizer. Tokenizer makes creating tokens for your monsters super easy. So if you go to create one, pull that over, bam, it's that easy. If you want more detail on how to use this, I have a whole video on it, but there's that, it's super useful. And those are all my top mods that I just don't know if I could live without. If you like this video, hit the like button and I'll catch you next time.